Hello, and welcome to my first Unity Visual Scripting subgraph offering. Today's subgraph is the Singleton node. If you'd like to skip ahead, feel free to follow the link in the description to my itch.io page where you can download the asset to install and use in your project. Please note that this subgraph requires Unity Editor version 2021.2.0b14 or greater and Unity Visual Scripting version 1.7.2 or greater. If you'd rather build the subgraph yourself, please pause the video here so you can copy what I've built. I will discuss how to use it in just a moment, and later on in the video, I'll explain how the graph works and possible customizations to it. I'd like to stop for a moment and ask for your help once again. I want to continue to make and offer subgraphs that you will use. All I'm asking for is for you to just leave a comment below this video telling me if there's anything that you would like me to make into a subgraph, and I will do my best to build it for you. And of course, while you're down there leaving that comment, I'd really appreciate it if you would click that like button and subscribe to my channel. That way, you won't miss out on anything new. Using the Singleton subgraph is fairly simple and straightforward. I'm going to create an empty game object called Singleton Object. Add my script machine. I'm going to use an embedded graph here as an example. And all you have to do to use it is just connect the singleton subgraph into your on start event. I also recommend creating an app variable that matches the name of the object it is attached to just for simplicity's sake, but this is not required as the subgraph itself will create that variable if it does not exist. Now you'll see when we go into play mode, this singleton object will become don't destroy unload. See right there. If we go into here, you'll see that the app variable now has that object contained within it. And then if we go ahead and load into a new scene, you'll see the singleton object still exists and we still have the singleton object here as such. Now we will get into how exactly the singleton subgraph works. As you can see, we only have flow, entry, and exit here. When it enters the graph, the first thing it does is check to see if the variable named after the game object exists. If it does, it checks to see whether anything is set in that variable. If it doesn't exist, then it knows that nothing could be set there. And so it will go through and create the variable and set the variable to the object and then turn don't destroy unload on that object and then exit. Now, if the variable is set, it just goes ahead and destroys itself because there can only be one. Some possible changes that you can do to this if you'd like is instead of using the game object name, you can add a data input for the name of the variable that you'd like to use. Set this to a string. Obviously, you want this has default value there. And then instead of using game object name, you would take this node and connect it to the three nodes that the game object name is connected to instead. And what this will do is allow you to instead use the name here singleton player one or use a string literal or use any other form of string that you would want for your singleton naming but you'll see now that we've done this instead of calling it singleton object as the variable it created a new one singleton player one instead and this singleton object variable we had created previously is no longer set I want to take this opportunity to thank you for watching this video. Uh, please, again, if you enjoyed this video, if you learned anything from it, please click that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below the video. So if there is something that you want to know now, let me know and I will see what I can do about teaching that to you right away. See you guys again next time. Have a great day.